Today marks another evolutionary milestone for WinLater. I am excited to announce that WinLater now has native glibc. Yesterday, Afe, the author of the WinLater Afe mod, released a sneak peek showing WinLater in native glibc running one of the graphics test applications. The moment I saw this, I excitedly jumped out of my chair, started to do weird dance moves, screamed like a little kid, and then... Well, as an adult, excitement wears off pretty quickly. For those that don't know, the most anticipated change in WinLater, glibc, is actually very good news, as it means that WinLater might have a chance to reach Mobox level performance. You might think, but why kimchi? The current state of WinLater already is so close to Mobox level performance and just needs a few more updates. Well subscribers, that is true. But there is a part in current WinLater which creates too much overhead that Mobox does not have. So imagine removing this part and still retaining current performance. That would definitely make WinLater on par with Mobox, if not better. However, the most interesting part for me, naturally, is the fact that now with glibc, I would be able to compile turnip drivers without any of Bruno's constraints and secret sauces to make turnip work on WinLater, which, because of set constraints and secret sauces, only he knows how to do. Now, enough of my excited ramblings. Let's get down to downloading and setting up WinLater with native glibc. Please visit the GitHub repository I have linked down in the description of the video. You will need to uninstall any WinLater version you currently have installed because this will behave as an update, but it will fail. Make sure to install anyway when a warning window shows up. After booting up WinLater, allow it to access whatever it requests. And now let it install system files. I will speed up the footage. This modded WinLater is the same as any other. You can create a container and adjust its settings accordingly. To learn an in-depth setup of WinLater, please visit my WinLater 101 video, linked in the description below. In this video I will just show the changes and additions and showcase some games. As you can see here in the settings menu, Wine has been updated to 9.13. The Box64 version has also been updated. Box86 has been removed and completely replaced by WoW64. Box86 presets have also been removed, naturally. There is also a new game controller section now, containing trigger mode options which changes the analog sticks to whether you want them to behave as buttons or axes. Then on the bottom you will have the unchangeable default setting of using glibc instead of prude. Deserved. Let's now take a look at what changed or added in the environment variable settings for Box64. Everything seems to be the same besides the two new additions at the bottom, AVX and Unity Player. AVX, which stands for subscribes to zero. Okay, no, I won't steal that one. <laughs> Advanced vector extensions. Some games like Dead Stranding, apparently the Yuzu emulator and Resident Evil 8 Village require AVX to be able to work. The Unity Player variable basically overrides the strong mem variable when WinLater detects the Unity Player .dll library that most Unity games have. Now let's check what changed in the container settings. We still have VirGL and Turnip. However, the settings button for Turnip is no longer available. Wine D3D has only one option as well. There are several new additions to DXVK. Oh, oh! Selecting GPL as sync actually offers a few more settings. That is neat. VKD3D has several options as well now. You can now select the version and feature level which is pretty cool. Audio driver made the same. Let's go over to the advanced app. 
All the other tabs remain the same. Well, everything is actually the same as well. Except the default processor affinity though. <laughs> I wanted to showcase a few working games and compare them with the performance, the non g C win laters. But I could not get any of my games to work, despite some working before creating this video. This modded win later is currently experimental of course, so many issues are to be expected. Your mileage may vary. There is also some concern over compatibility with games using G C, claiming that because of G C, win later will have less compatibility. However, I'm confident this can be resolved with future updates. That was it for today's video. Stay tuned for some game showcases as I find some games that work with the modded win later by Long Jun Yu 2. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.